All right, good afternoon, everyone. Um, just going to do a quick review on this Jimenez uh, dresser from IKEA. I got the, I think it's the charcoal color one, and uh, wanted to give you a little bit of the lessons I learned while I was putting it together and give you a little review of the quality. So IKEA has got multi multiple stages of quality. Um, you can get something very similar to this for about $100 less, but the uh, I don't think it's made out of solid wood. So one of the things we like about IKEA is that when you get to a certain price point in IKEA, it's very reasonably priced solid wood, even though it's probably pine, uh, soft wood furniture, but it's it's not particle board. It's at least something that you can you can expect to be a sturdier. Um, so the Jimenez is an eight drawer dresser uh, with the top drawers being the smaller ones, the middle drawers being uh, longer but skinnier, and then the bottom one is the deeper drawer that's the same 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 uh, depth. Um, there are <clears throat> 47 steps in filling it out. I did everything except for the safety strap that goes on the wall. And uh, I was pretty happy with it. I mean, it's very clear. I mean, as long as you've got a little bit of uh, the ability to orient yourself on a drawing, um, then the, you know, you'll be able to get it done pretty quick. I mean, this is probably the most tedious part is putting the drawer um, rails on to the central aspect of the dresser, but it's very um, self-explanatory. Uh, the pictures, there's absolutely no words in this thing at all, except for um, some warnings and descriptions of the bolts. I would say be very careful. There are at least two instances that I put the wrong, um, the wrong fastener into a hole and had to back out of it. I only, I only over tightened one and that was because I was kind of being lazy and when using a hammer drill to put in some of the, uh, the rails. And when I got to, uh, let's see. So some of these, as you can see here, these, these fasteners, they're pretty standard in furniture these days. I, uh, I hit it with my, my hammer drill and it, it cracked one of these posts. So I ended up having to glue it together and, and it took me a, another, an extra day because I wanted that to draw dry, but okay. So drawers, drawers are solid wood on the side, solid wood on the front. The bottom is a very high quality, um, piece of, of composite wood, almost like a, sort of like the, the holes or the, uh, the stuff you use in a workshop. The rails are, are held on very well with, uh, with uh, screws that anchor them in. And underneath the smaller drawers, there's no central support, but the larger drawers there are. So one of the, one of the, one of the modifications I did, I, um, I glued, I put glue, a bead of glue along all these seams, just so um, my kids, who this is the reason why I had to buy another drawer, um, was, would not break it in the long run. And I, I also put some brad nails in um, along the edge, even though you don't have to because these railings hold the bottom piece in, but it's very solid. The drawers will not disappoint you um, for quality. And that's really what most people look for in furniture is drawer quality and fast, uh, fastener quality, corners, uh, the joints. And this is not heirloom furniture, so you can't expect dovetails and stuff like that. But I'm telling you, putting this together, it is not going to fall apart. My kids will probably break it before it falls apart because of poor quality. Um, it took me two weekends, two, two days essentially, not full days. Um, I would say total of four hours to put it together. This top piece here is solid wood, so that's good. It's not a, none, none of it is composite or particle board except for the very back panel and the bottoms of the drawers. Everything else is solid wood. The uh, fasteners are metal, or the uh, drawer, drawer uh, pulls are, are metal. I can't, um, I can't really give it a higher review. I mean, I would say it's a five-star item for the price, for less than $300 to get a dresser that um, is gonna last you for years as long as you take care of it. If, it's, if you're buying it for a, uh, I mean, this is a baby's room, 
it's not going to be heavy used if you're buying it for a guest room it's perfect it, it's, it looks high quality it feels high quality no need to pay five hundred dollars for or six hundred dollars for a dresser or twelve hundred dollars for a dresser if it's just for a guest room this is a perfect item highly recommend it all right if you got any more questions please uh, put them on in the comments and uh, please like and subscribe thank you very much